the concentration the concentration C of T is of a particular fertilizer is in the soil is given by this function C of T is equal to 2 T divided by T plus 1 the whole cube so let me write that C of T is equal to 2 T divided by T plus 1 the whole cube so here you have got a composite function this is your U and this is your V so we're going to use the quotient rule this is V so this is V so the the question is where C of T is the concentration in kgs per cubic meters and T is the number of days after the fertilizer was applied so the question is after how many days uh, after the fertilizer was applied will the concentration be maximum so here this is a question of uh, differentiation or maximization so we have to differentiate it so let me write the quotient rule so if the quotient rule is like this if y is equal to u over v this implies y dash is u dash times v minus u times v dash divided by v cube so let's apply that formula here so c dash t you have to differentiate u first that is the top so that is 2 times the bottom which is t plus 1 the whole cube minus the first function as it is so let me write 2t times the second function when you're doing the denominator it's a you have to differentiate the denominator which is t plus 1 the whole cube so let's differentiate the outside so which is 3 times t plus 1 the whole squared and then always remember to differentiate the inside here yeah, it's not going to make much difference because if you differentiate the inside it's going to be 1 but it's a good practice to write the derivative of inside divided by the denominator squared so if you didn't square the denominator is going to be t plus 1 to the power 6 okay so this implies you can say c dash t let's simplify that a little so what can you do what can you factor out you can factor out this 2 and t plus 1 the whole squared you've got t plus 1 the whole cube here and here you've got t plus 1 the whole squared and you've got a 2 here so I can factor out t 2 times t plus 1 the whole squared and this is where algebra comes into play simple factorization so if you factor out 2 times t plus 1 the whole cube what is left is t plus 1 from here minus you got a 3 here 3t three you have got here so here you can say <coughs> no, you are factored out yeah you got a t here so you can say 3t is remaining here 3t divided by so can I write this like this so this is t plus 1 the whole squared times t plus t plus 1 to the power 4 t plus 1 to the power 4 am I doing any mistake here so let's check it so u dash is 2 times the denominator minus u which is 2t times the derivative of denominator is 3 times <coughs> okay I don't see any mistake here so I factored the 2 times t plus 1 the whole squared so from here you have got t plus 1 t plus 1 and from here you got minus 3t so what can you cancel you can cancel this t plus 1 the whole squared and t plus 1 the whole squared okay so this implies so let me scroll this slightly up this implies c dash t c dash t is equal to 2 times 2 times what will be let's simplify this so this will be t plus 1 t plus 1 minus 3 t divided by 
t plus 1 to the power of 4. Now I can set this equal to 0 because we want to find the maximum. Okay, This is because we want to find the and at maximum the gradient is going to be 0. So this implies t is c dash t is going to be equal to you can cross multiply now you can say uh, c dash t is equal to 2 times minus 2t plus 1 is equal to 0 because 0 times anything is going to be 0. So this implies you can say minus 4t plus 2 is equal to 0. So and making t the subject I can say minus 4t is equal to minus 2. So we can say dividing both sides by negative 4 we can say t is equal to half. So after half a day you're getting the maximum. The maximum concentration is when t is half a day. Now you can check this on a calculator. Okay, so let me bring my calculator out. So I've already drawn the graph. So this is the graph. So this is 2x or 2t divided by t plus 1 the whole cube. I've set the scale from say from 0 to uh, 0 to let me go up to 5, 5 days and your y let me go from 0 to 0 to 2 scale of 0 0.2 and see how the graph looks like exit and then draw it so this is your graph of concentration it goes up and it goes down and it's, all, it's never going to be approaching 0 so your x-axis is going to be a, uh, your asymptote it does make sense when you apply fertilizer the fertilizer never completely disappears. So you can go GSOL and maximum. So at point two, your point five, sorry, half a day your concentration was point two nine six two or six three kgs per meter cube. Hopefully this video has been helpful.